Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve some more problems on integration of rational functions by partial fraction. So these problems, when we apply partial fraction directly, it will become more complicated. So we give suitable substitution, then we apply the partial fraction rule. Let's take the first problem. We find numerator x square and in the denominator it is x square plus 1 into x square plus 4. So both the factors are non-factorable quadratic expression. We discussed about three rules. So the third rule is having the non-factorable quadratic expression. So we have to apply this rule bx plus c. But we have two factors. So when I apply the same rule there, I have to apply ax plus b by x square plus 1 and cx plus d by x square plus 4. So it is going more complicated. So instead, I am going to take let t equal to x square. Now the entire expression becomes t by t plus 1 into t plus 4. Now if you notice, we got a linear expression with different factors. So as per the quadratic rule, we will apply the third rule that is bx plus c by x square plus bx plus c. But now we have linear and different factor. We go for the first rule which is a by first factor plus b by second factor. If there is third factor then c by third factor. But here we have only two factors. So we apply the rule a by first factor plus b by second factor. So by this substitution we are making the expression simpler. Now as usual we take LCM which is t plus 1 into t plus 4. So numerator is a into t plus 4 plus b into t plus 1. Now since both the side denominators are same, we are going to equate the numerator. So t is equal to a into t plus 4 plus b into t plus 1. Now let's take the value of t as minus 4. So this will become minus 4 equal to, this will become 0 and b into minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. From this the value of b is 4 by 3. Similarly, if I take t as minus 1, then minus 1 is equal to, when I put minus 1 here, it is a into 3. Then second term will become 0. So the value of a is minus 1 by 3. After this, we have to substitute in the term where we apply the partial fraction rule. So a by t plus 1 will become minus 1 by 3 by t plus 1 integral. We never used dt, we just used t. Still we have dx in the problem. So we have dx plus integral b by t plus 4. b is 4 by 3. So 4 by 3 dx by t plus 4. Since it is with respect to x, we have to replace the t before integration where the t is nothing but x square. So this will become minus 1 by 3 integral dx by x square plus 1 plus 4 by 3 is constant which we can take outside. So dx by x square plus 4 can be written as 2 square. Here we are going to apply the basic formula which we discussed in the previous videos integral dx by x square plus a square which is nothing but 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. So when we apply this formula for the first term we have minus 1 by 3 1 by 1 is 1 and tan inverse x by a is x by 1 which is x. But in the second one we have 4 by 3 into 1 by a. a is 2 here and tan inverse x by a. So x by 2 plus c. So finally we can cancel these two. So the final answer is minus 1 by 3 tan inverse x plus 2 by 3 tan inverse x by 2 plus c. Now let's solve the second problem where we have 2x dx by x square plus 1 into x square plus 3. Again, we are going to give substitution. Let t equal to 
x square but in the numerator we have 2x so we can write dt which is 2x dx now substituting this we get integral dt by t plus 1 into t plus 3 now coming to the partial fraction rule we have two different factors as per the rule we are going to apply the first rule where all the factors are different we apply a by first factor plus b by second factor plus c by third factor here we have two factor so let's write the expression alone 1 by t plus 1 into t plus 3 which is equal to a by first factor t plus 1 plus b by second factor t plus 3 now we are going to take LCM the LCM is both the term t plus 1 into t plus 3 so in the numerator a into t plus 3 plus b into t plus 1 will come now we notice both the sides denominators are same so we are going to equate the numerators on both the sides so 1 equal to a into t plus 3 plus b into t plus 1 let's take values for t let's take t as minus 1 so this side we have 1 so 1 equal to a into when i put minus 1 here 3 minus 1 2 and the other factor will become 0 so from this the value of a is 1 by 2 in the same way when we take t as minus 3 so 1 is equal to first term will be 0 and second term will be b into minus 2 so minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 from this the value of b is minus 1 by 2 so we got the values of a and b we are going to substitute in the term where we applied the partial fraction rule so a value by t plus 1 integral half by t plus 1 but here we have dt so we have to put dt then minus integral b values minus half so i take the minus outside divided by t plus 3 into dt so we applied the value of a and b in this term we are going to integrate this half this is log mod t plus 1 minus half log mod t plus 3 plus c now we can take half common and log a minus log b is log a by b so log t plus 1 by t plus 3 then plus c and we have to replace the t in the initial step we have taken t as x square so this will become x square plus 1 by x square plus 3 plus c then coming to the third problem we have integral cos x by 1 minus sin x into 2 minus sin x dx here we are going to take the substitution let t equal to sin x from this we can find dt which is cos x dx so we can replace cos x dx as dt so this will become integral dt by 1 minus t into 2 minus t now we are going to apply the partial fraction rule so two factors are different factors already we discussed the three rules when the factors are different we have to apply the first rule that is a by first factor plus b by second factor plus c by third factor let's write the expression alone so we have 1 by 1 minus t into 2 minus t which is nothing but a by first factor 1 minus t plus b by second factor 2 minus t let's take lcm which is 1 minus t into 2 minus t so in numerator we get a into 2 minus t plus b into 1 minus t now both the sides 
we have same denominator so we are going to equate the numerator that is 1 equal to a into 2 minus t plus b into 1 minus t let's take t as 1 so this will become 1 equal to when i put 1 here we get a into 2 minus 1 is 1 and this will become 0 from this the value of a is 1 so we got value of one constant a in the same way let's take t as 2 so 1 equal to a into this will become 0 so no need to write and second term b into 1 minus 2 that will be minus 1 so from this b is minus 1 so we got the value of both the constants a and b and we are going to substitute in the step where we applied the partial fraction rule that is a by 1 minus t plus b by 2 minus t so integral a by 1 minus t dt plus integral b is minus 1 by 2 minus t dt now this will become log mod 1 minus t plus we have minus sign so let's write the minus directly log mod 2 minus t plus c but we have to notice one thing the coefficient of t is minus 1 so both the term we have to divide by minus 1 so when i divide by minus 1 this will become minus and this will become plus because i have to put by minus 1 by minus 1 so there will be a sign change now using the log rule log a minus log b is log a by t so log a is 2 minus t minus log b so this will become by 1 minus t so log a by b plus c and finally we have to substitute the value of t which is nothing but from the substitution which we gave t equal to sin x so this is log mod 2 minus sin x by 1 minus sin x plus C.